Good morning today. The church remembers <coughs> three people. Let's have a read. So there we are, Jeremy Taylor, Florence Nightingale, Octavia Hill. And because I can, there's a quick look at their images. Let's <clears throat> come before the Lord. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. <clears throat> oh, I've got a clagged up throat today. O God, you are my God. <clears throat> Eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you, as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. <clears throat> my soul clings to you. Your right hand shall hold me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. Amen.
Psalm 41 Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desires of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness. Have I said, have mercy on me, Lord, heal me. Oh, bum. And then I forget to change it back. Can't get the help, can you? O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. <clears throat> so would I gaze upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips, when I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand shall hold me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. <clears throat> the night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 41. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desires of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness. I said, Have mercy on me, Lord, heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me, in malice, when will he die and his name perish? When one of them comes to see me, he speaks falsely while his heart gathers slander. Then he goes out and spreads it around. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying, A vile disease has afflicted him. He'll never get up from the place where he lies. Even my close friend, someone I trusted, one who has shared my bread has turned against me. But may you have mercy on me, Lord. Raise me up, that I may repay them. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. Because of my integrity, you uphold me and set me in your presence for ever. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. Psalm 42 As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. 
My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Psalm 43 Vindicate me, my God, and plead my cause against an unfaithful nation. Rescue me from those who are deceitful and wicked. You are my God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Samuel 17, verse 55, to chapter 18, verse 16. As Saul watched David going out to meet the Philistine, he said to Abner, commander of the enemy, Abner, whose son is that young man? Abner replied, As surely as you live, your majesty, I don't know. The king said, Find out whose son this young man is. As soon as David returned from killing the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul, with David still holding the Philistine's head. Whose son are you, young man? Saul asked him. David said, I am the son of your servant Jesse of Bethlehem. After David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan became one in spirit with David, and he loved him as himself. From that day Saul kept David with him and did not let him return home to his family. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David, along with his tunic and even his sword, his bow and his belt. Whatever mission Saul sent him on, David was so successful that Saul gave him a high rank in the army. This pleased all the troops and Saul's officers as well. When the men were returning home after David had killed the Philistine, the women came out from all the towns of Israel to meet King Saul, with singing and dancing, with joyful songs, with timbrels and lyres. As they danced, they sang, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his tens of thousands. Saul was very angry. This refrain displeased him greatly. They credited David with tens of thousands, but me with only thousands. What more can he get but the kingdom? And from that time on, Saul kept a close eye on David. The next day, an evil spirit from God came forcibly upon Saul. He was prophesying in his house while David was playing the lyre, as he usually did. Saul himself had a spear in his hand, and he held it, saying to himself, I'll pin David to the wall. But David eluded him twice. <clears throat> Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with David, but had departed from Saul. So he sent David away from him and gave him command over a thousand men. And David led the troops in their campaigns. 
In everything he did, he had great success, because the Lord was with him. When Saul saw how successful he was, he was afraid of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David, because he led them in their campaigns. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thus says our God, I will comfort you, you shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad for her, all you who love her, says the Lord. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, that you may drink deeply with delight from her consoling breast. For thus says our God, you shall be nursed and carried on her arm, as a mother comforts her children, so I will comfort you. You shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. <clears throat> you shall flourish like the grass of the fields. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Thus says our God, I will comfort you, you shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. <coughs> Luke 24, verses 36 to the end. Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet, it is I myself. Touch me and see, a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Then he, he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written, The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I'm going to send to you what my father has promised, to stay in the city until you've been clothed with power from on high. When he led them out to the, to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your salvation is near to those who fear you. A glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. That glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, so oh no, no, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like the stars for all eternity. Father, we come before you today with technology doing what it does and decides it wants to open something or close something and often the things like technology that give us so much help also cause us so much stress and strain so Lord we come before you this morning thanking you for the things that are there to bless but would also cause us great troubles Lord bring us into your presence Lord surround us with your peace and your love your strength and your might and may this day be a blessing to all make this a day in which we are seen to be your people we ask lord in your mercy hear our prayer and as we look at the world and its needs we see that the things that need to be healed of anger and wickedness, deceit and lies, cruelty and most of all a world that seeks its own wealth, its own poverty, its own prejudices to be regarded as right and truth to be lies. <clears throat> so we we pray first and foremost for Salman Rushdie this morning, who's on a ventilator, unable to speak after being stabbed in the neck and stomach by someone who stormed onto the stage. <coughs> we pray that the hands of all wicked people will be stilled this day. And as we pray for peace, we pray for integrity as... The FBI released the reasons for entering Donald Trump's home. Lord, those who would seek power are required to show great things. To be just, to be honest, to be righteous in all things. And Father, we pray for the peace of the world where are fires there are floods there's even an earthquake there's volcanoes erupting and everything we look at in the natural world brings famine brings illness brings so many things we miss the beauty of the earth because the news tells us so much about the needs of the people on it and the animals who live alongside us. Lord, we pray that we would care for all creation, we would care for the people who this day have needs. We would pray and act for the nations that are oppressed, thinking, of course, especially of the situation with the Iran and its destabilizing of regions of Israel and Palestine and its conflicts of North and South Korea of the situations obviously between Russia and Ukraine Father God we 
bring this world before you. We pray for its healing. And Lord, as we pray for the healing of the world, we pray for the church and its righteousness, for its integrity, for its honesty. And Lord, as the Archbishop's advisor from Minority Ethnic, Anglican Concerns, <clears throat> Dr. Sanji Pereira has resigned complaining that things are not as good <clears throat> in the way we deal with things. How the Racial Justice Commission has been taking much of her time as a secretary. Father, we pray that those who work for the church would do what they are called to do and they would be used to do what they are able to do. Father, we pray for the church and the way it recruits. We pray for the church and the people within it. And Lord, we pray for integrity in the profiles as clergy look to move to new churches, especially when we see that so many of the people who come to a church find that what they come to was not what they thought they'd come to. Father God, we pray for the peace of the world and we pray for the peace of the church and the integrity of church in bringing that to be present for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for Maureen a day after her surgery and she can see again. Hallelujah. We pray for Charles and his upcoming medical treatment. We pray for Norma and Linda and Alan and Beryl and Val and Sylvia, for Sheila and Karen, Norman, Beryl Davis, Joan and Alan Dewhurst, Estheline Rod, Molly and Heather, Enid, Barbara and Terry. Derek Jones, Stan Parry, John Hambridge. We pray for Elaine and Emily. We pray for those we know who are struggling and waiting for treatment. And we look forward to the 1st of September and something positive for Colin to be taken and made real. We pray for Helen and Catherine and Poppy and their pregnancies. We pray for Tim and Tracy, peace, and the family. For the Palmers, Margaret and John, for Mackenzie's, Graham and Gillian. For the Mitchell family and for Anne Murray and her continued recovery, we pray. For the Cottrell family, for the Holmes family, for the Hattons, and pray especially for Jane. And for the whole family, of course. For Dawn Palin and... Sue and her family, for the Gibbards, for the Sanfords and for Kev's recovery from surgery and for new doors of opportunity to open for him. For Philip Hope on holiday but still recovering. For the Watmore family, praying for Pat especially. For Jill Williams and for the Popops and for Gillian Mellor. For Luke, for Steve Kingston and for June Hawley. And Lord, we pray those words today, do not struggle, but let the Lord contend to you. Lord, we ask that the power of your love be seen in her needs this day. For Joe Johnson, for Janet and Brian, for Emma and Rebecca with their long COVID, and for all who suffer the effects of COVID. And we pray this day for those unknown only to us on our hearts and minds that you would be God in their lives and that you would touch them. And Lord, as we pray for God, you almighty, loving, kind and caring, we pray for our often overlooked members of the family. We pray for Angela and for Buster. We pray for those who have dogs, that they keep them in and keep them cool. 
and that they protect their animals especially in this heat for they are so vulnerable lord help us never to lose sight of the things that bless people and help us to bless them lord in your mercy hear our prayer holy and loving god you dwell in the human heart and make us partakers of the divine nature in christ our great high priest help us who remember your servant jeremy taylor to put our trust in your heavenly promises and follow a holy life in virtue and true godliness through jesus christ your son our lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit on god now and for ever amen with the words our Saviour gave us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being with us, guys. Have a super day. May you be blessed. May you know his peace and may you know, especially today, respite from the heat for those especially who will struggle take care guys be safe be blessed bye for now